While the Queensland horse racing industry is in upheaval with the controversial scratching of 200 country meetings, greyhound racing has never been more popular. The sad reality though is away from the excitement of the track, very few greyhounds get put out to pasture. One Queensland company is now giving these retired races a purpose in life, thanks to a world first in medical science. Kirsten Murray reports. Yeah, they all have their own personality and sort of greet you differently every morning. Two years ago, kennel manager Nikki Eric stopped taking boarders to offer 36 greyhounds a permanent home. They're all like your kids, you care about each one. They're set, racing! After a short career, these dogs are enjoying a long retirement on this property near Calbar, an hour's drive southwest of Brisbane. They are a racing dog, they're there for a purpose and if they don't meet those purposes I, I'd say that well they can't keep them all as pets um, so they would probably be euthanised. Now they've found a new purpose, helping retired vet Ross Wilson treat sick and injured dogs. The Greyhound's plasma, a derivative of blood, is being given to other dogs as an antibody boost and blood clotter. It's a treatment that's never before been commercially available. I love all animals, and uh, but the, these dogs that are um, just have such beautiful natures that are being able to benefit not only Plasvac but but every patient that a vet treats with the plasma is a is a good feeling. Max is one of Australia's first official canine donors. Being a finely tuned athlete, he's the perfect candidate. They're a good combination. They're uh, a nice body weight. We, they're, they're as big as we can get w without them being difficult to handle for the girls. Um, they're used to people handling them. There's a high proportion of the correct blood groupings that we require for universal plasma donors. And there's no shortage of greyhounds that can't win races anymore. Max gives blood once every three weeks. Under strict animal ethics guidelines, he's anaesthetised to avoid stress. The process is the same. It's much the same as, as is used every day on people at the Red Cross blood banks. People donate plasma as well. Once the plasma is extracted from the blood, the cells are returned to the donor. Did you get that starting time, 825? Now bagged, the plasma's on its way to animal surgeries across Australia, New Zealand and Dubai. University of Queensland vet Chris Jensen administers plasma about four times a week to dogs of all breeds. Plasma is basically almost like the perfect food um, for an animal that's just lost a lot of uh, proteins out of its body, in particular through trauma or burns or with serious internal diseases like pancreatitis or peritonitis. Um, plasma is life-saving. It replaces immediately those, those important proteins that the body needs to function. For Staffordshire Terrier Beryl, badly injured after a car accident, plasma was just the pick-me-up she needed. Tomorrow, she'll head home. In those very severe cases where you really only have minutes to act to, uh, to save an animal's life, plasma is one of those things that really is a lifesaver. While the treatment costs anywhere up to $300, many dog owners are happy to pay. It's akin to the cost of using, say, an antivenine for snake bite or an antivenine for tick paralysis. Um, it's, it's an expense that most dog owners would see as uh, as an essential part of having a life-saving treatment. It's a cost horse owners have borne for years. Ross Wilson began his research collecting plasma from these retired races. He's been with us right from the start this way, 1996. Today, the family business supplies vets with 3,500 litres of animal plasma each year. With the addition of dog plasma, Ross Wilson hopes to produce 5,000 litres. It's a nice feeling and, you know, we've had a lot of people ring up since we finished acquiring dogs, still wanting us. We could have had over 100 dogs by now if we'd accepted all of them. One day I hope we need that many, but just for now we'll uh, see how we go with our 36. To Ross Wilson, the next recipient of this readily available treatment is obvious. Today it's man's best friend, tomorrow man. How long will it be before we can whip down to our local GP and, and get a plasma pick-me-up? That's a good question, Kirsten. That's something that we are definitely planning on moving into the human field. I think you'll see antibody therapy and people take right off. Good boy. And Ross Wilson has just returned from the US where his company Plasvac won Best Written Business Plan for its canine plasma.